This video is going to provide an overview of the Visual Basic Editor in Microsoft Excel 2010 and it's going to be very similar to what you would see in Microsoft Excel 2007. Just to get started uh, is how to open the Visual Basic Editor. I have a blank workbook opened here and I'm on the Developer tab and I'm just going to click the Visual Basic button to bring up the Visual Basic Editor. So a separate screen will open up and this is the Visual Basic uh, for Applications Editor and it has a couple of different windows, the project window and the properties window, and this gray area over here is a placeholder for the code window when one of the objects are selected. So to just get started here with the project explorer window, if, if this window is not visible, I'm just going to close this for a minute, if it's not visible you can go to view and then select project explorer and it's going to pop up the project explorer window shortcut for that is control R. The Project Explorer window shows all of the open workbooks and the components in them such as worksheets, user forms, and modules. So there's an open workbook called Book 1 and it has some objects in it. One object is called Sheet 1 or Worksheet 1, 2, and 3 and then there's uh, this workbook module as well. So that's all in the Project Explorer window. The next window in here is the Properties window which is right down here. If for some reason the Properties window is not open, just close that. You can go to View, Properties window, and that's going to cause the Properties window to open. Short Shortcut trip for that is F4. Uh, the Properties window will change as different components are selected. For example, if I select this first sheet, you can see the Properties window has changed to Sheet 1, and you can see, for instance, the first property's name, Sheet 1, right here. And then if I click on the next one, you're going to see the properties are changing for Sheet 2, or if I click on this workbook, and so on and so forth. So depending on what object is selected, the properties window will show you the properties for that object. The next window is the code window, and I'm just going to double click on the Sheet 1 in order to bring up the code window. So over here on the left is the code window, and this is where you can begin to type macros, or if you're using the recorder, this is where the code will show up. As far as how to um, insert a user form, you want to go to insert and just select user form. Okay, And so the code window area shows a blank template for a user form where you can start to add objects like buttons and inputs and things like that. And then on the left in the project window you'll see a folder was added called forms and then we have user form 1 and the properties for it are down here. Okay, The next thing we're going to cover is how to insert a module. Just minimize this a little bit. Go ahead and go to insert module. Okay, and so now you can see the code window has changed again to show you the code for module one which was inserted. So insert and then it added this folder called modules and it added module one in here and here's the code over here for module one. And then the next thing is to insert a class modules. So go to insert, similar process, class modules, you see a folder called class modules and class one. Just double click on that and it'll bring up the code over here. These are all blank because this is a new workbook. Alternatively you could use the shortcut menu for that which is this button here and you have the same selections instead of going to um, the insert button here at the top. The first module type is is the sheet modules and each sheet in the workbook will have its own module and on those sheets you could put programming code that's specific to the worksheet onto each individual one if that's how you wanted to use them. There's another, another module called this workbook and workbook events can be programmed in here such as if you want the code to when the workbook opens to execute a certain code or when a workbook is active in different items or uh, different events can be programmed in this workbook. The next item here are the user forms and so this is again where you would design forms uh, and they allow users to make inputs or selections say OK to proceed um, and different things like that and when they the inter user interacts with the forms then different code is executed. And The next one is modules and most of the code will be stored in the modules. This is where the macro recorder puts its code here. It's, it's a good place overall to to store broad base of different types of code. And then the last module here is the class modules. And you can create custom class modules and those can be shared between programmers and those would go here on the class modules area.